mentioned that uh, Gervonta said that Ryan didn't have the dog in him. Yeah, you know he don't have the dog in him. OG, you know he don't have the dog in him. I was <laughs> like, is, we'll does, see. Does that fight, I mean, it seems he, he's kind of said stuff like that before. Is that fight going to come down to toughness or is it maybe a, a skill battle more and maybe Tank thinking it's going to be a I don't tough fight? I, I don't think any fight comes down in, on this level that comes down to one thing. I think it's going to be all above. I think it's going to be, um, I think both guys are going to show whether they have it when it comes to toughness. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say right now, they both have it to get where they're at now. Are they going to have it when both of them square up in, 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 in weeks to come? Uh, I think they're still going to show it. It's who's going to, who's going to continue to, to, to proceed and also to um, display it and also other skills that got to come with that. One particular style is not going to be the dominant in this fight. That's the key. I believe that most people should look at if they wise enough to understand that that's going to be the different who, difference in who win this fight or who lose this fight is who do something different that we haven't uh, seen or talked about. We know about the punch. We know about the punch. We know about the punch. We know about Tank's punch. We know about the punch. But let's talk about the all around skills. See, these are the things that we don't necessarily, for good or bad reasons, like to talk about because I think that it's, it, 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 it's boring to most people. But when you run into sometimes those fights of this magnitude and you see something that makes it part of history later. We never seen him do that before. Or we never knew he could do that. Those things that surprises one or the other, Ryan or Tank, will be the one in the difference between who wins and loses this fight. With okay, the rehydration clause real quick, a... what does that say about the other side that they ask for a that's, rehydration I'm clause? glad you have one more question because that is Sorry. something that's need to be said or I need to be responded to. And I think that um, the way I see it is when you have a, re re uh, a rehydration. rehydration clause, it's showing that Tank is worried under, this, under the disguise of, I'm not worried. When you make the weight, basically, I look at it as you made the damn weight. Now, when you got to say, well, I know you made the weight, but I want you to weigh this four hours later, I need you to weigh this 24 hours later. Now it becomes something else. What advantages you looking for? Well, Bernard, fair game. You know, you do this. No, you know what fair game is? You get on a scale. We fight at 160 for my undisputed middleweight championship. I get on, you get on a scale and I get on a scale and we, we make that weight. That's the weight we agreed to. But now when you start saying to make this fight happen, for you to make this fight happen, and I want to prove my greatness, because I believe I'm already great. That's what Tank is saying, really. This is to certify stamp of approval. Then I wouldn't be worrying about too much how much you weigh. I just want you to weigh what you agreed upon and now we can go ahead and fight. I don't want any excuses that you had to cut this weight, you had to weigh this 24 hours, you get another weigh in uh, to make sure you didn't rehydrate up to whatever you rehydrate up to. Because to me, the weight doesn't make you better than me. The weight doesn't make you less better than me. The weight just means you're gonna be a fat tank, big, and I'm gonna beat you up even more. That's how I think, I'm old school. But I believe when people see this interview, they will see that I'm not bashing one guy, another guy. I'm just telling you from a mental mind game, think I'm getting advantage mentality of certain people that want to fight or force to answer the call. In this case is the second one. To answer the call, I'm going to put all these incentives so you will say, no to it, and then I can go somewhere else. So now when you have these things called concessions and you're not checking them off saying, well, I'm definitely not gonna do that. Ryan didn't do that. See, nobody's interviewing on, you know, Ryan gave up a lot of stuff that, hey, he 
He really didn't have to give up. Why do you think he done that? He dared to be great. We talk it. We might even fantasize about it. But how many people really mean it? Now we're going to see. Thank you. Thank you.